to understand where the economy might go, you need to understand where it is. You need to understand how resources are being allocated now. You need to bring experience from other countries and other regions to bear here. And so the economic researchers are the ones who are trying to drill down into the evidence and understand what is happening to get the data, what is happening, and what are the pathways open uh, from what we understand about other countries and uh, from studying very carefully what the resources are on the ground here in a country like Ghana or in Nigeria or other, other countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. So this is policy relevant research. It's research that helps governments, helps the private sector to have a vision of what what a change might look like, where the sectors are that are promising, what things might grow, what areas are not promising, and, and maybe have been supported too, too heavily. Um, so so the, the thing that a conference like this does is it brings to bear the best minds who are bringing together information on these economies with experience globally. A particularly interesting uh, set of opportunities and challenges are around how would a country like Ghana use its natural gas uh, discoveries in a way that doesn't become a blockage to transformation because from other countries we understand it can become uh, a blockage to transformation uh, it's easy export revenues, it's easy government revenues, um, it, it doesn't create a lot of employment directly, uh, and yet it can be a platform for moving out into new directions, uh, as we've seen in countries like Indonesia, countries like Chile, countries uh, that have prospered in using their natural resource wealth. So to me, that one is a very, very sharp uh, problem of, of interest to many African governments because of the resource discoveries of the last, uh, really, of uh, the last 10 years. How do you leverage them? We know how to de develop the resource sector, but how do you leverage them to have structural transformation in the rest of the economy? And, uh, and so a uh, conference like this, you know, as I said, will bring some, some of the best minds to bear on a sharp question like that. And, and governments uh, have things to learn. And I, I've, been lucky, I've been lucky to be in this game on this continent uh, my whole career. So I started to work in 1986, if you can believe it. That's a long time ago. And I'm telling you the truth, the narrative and the story and the real uh, reality of this continent did begin to turn around in about the middle 1990s. Now we're, we're, we're almost 15 years, to almost 20 fr from that. Um, a, lot pos a lot of positive things have happened. There's no pathway that is an easy one. Structural transformation, we have to realize, it means disruption of existing patterns and you have resistance from people who have been doing very well by some existing patterns. Um, and you have new entrants who are trying to change the story. Uh, so I am on the side of the, of the view that things are moving here. And if I were a much younger man with, with a lot of money, I would be putting that money right here. <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think the story is ready to move faster. It's not easy. It is complicated and hard. It takes political will and focus. Um, but where countries can bring that to bear, I think, uh, I think this is the place to be.